Good morning everyone. It is the first morning here aboard the beautiful P&O Ventura and as you can see behind me it's still very dark. It's about seven in the morning um, which is obviously one hour forward from the UK as we're arriving into the port of Cherbourg in France. Now I've been to Cherbourg before but I aim to do different stuff this time. If you are a follower of the vlog and have watched my previous uh, vlogs in Cherbourg and Le Havre in France which are the ports for this cruise as well um, you'll have seen that when we went to Cherbourg, it was on a Sunday before, which meant that we were um, completely unable to do much because Sundays they close all of the shops and all the museums and everything. So we were just able to wander around and see the sights. But today we actually get to go to the shops, the museums, the art galleries and really experience Cherbourg, which is amazing. So it's like it's a different day, a different port altogether. So we're looking forward to that. Um, so yep, yeah, I'm up very early. Uh, the others I'm traveling with are still asleep. Uh, as is normal, I get up and do like my sort of walks around the ship and a bit of exercise. One thing I'm a bit sad about, there's no real jogging track that I can properly walk around and it's quite wet um, with all these sort of fake astroturf aboard this ship. So um, it's very squelchy. <laughs> it's not good for exercise, but there is a full gym. If I brought gym gear, which would have been smart, I could have used the gym and gone on treadmills and stuff, but I didn't. So um, shoulda, woulda, coulda. But yeah, I'm gonna carry on walking for a bit um, and then eventually go back to the room, shower, get changed, and go to breakfast. Uh, we're going to the main dining room for breakfast today while everyone rushes off the ship. Um, give them some time to do that. And then we'll head off and have some adventures in Cherbourg. See you at breakfast. As you enter into the cruise terminal here in Cherbourg, you actually go through this arrivals lounge which is set up to tell you more about the Titanic. This was the arrival of baggage hall for Titanic and so it's really really cool to see. Then we headed into the centre of Cherbourg and had a good walk around looking at the shops and looking at all of the sites. Now, if you're anything like me, when you go to a new place, you like to try something that the locals like to eat. So we looked at this place, the Creperie Tibili, which is a great, highly recommended place for galettes, which are a type of savoury crepe served with lots of different meats and cheeses and things like that. And we absolutely loved it. Um, two of us had some lovely sort of savoury galettes, but this fire one was a flambéed uh, pancake with a sort of um, caramel and things like that. But yep, this is my chorizo and ratatouille one, which I really enjoyed. It was very, very delicious. And the other one was sort of uh, goat's cheese and bacon, but it was delicious, very filling, and we were absolutely stuffed. As well as just enjoying all of the sights of this beautiful harbour town, we actually went to the art gallery and had a little look inside. We hadn't got to do this the last time we were here because it was closed, so we took the opportunity to go inside today. There's some great exhibitions and it's a lot bigger than it looked. So there was lots of different paintings from these marine paintings to paintings of famous people. There was so much to see and such beautiful art and it was really quiet. So I think a lot of people just didn't come, come around here or didn't have the interest in art were more interested in having like food and drink but we really loved it and then sailing away we felt a little bit sad because we really did enjoy the day in Cherbourg but we knew we had things coming soon. And here we are sailing away from Cherbourg as you can see we're just pulling away from the port now we are heading now towards Le Havre, which we will arrive at tomorrow at 4 p.m. Uh, so it's a long day sailing towards Le Havre. We will dock in Le Havre at about 4 p.m. tomorrow, 
and then we're there overnight and we leave the following evening. So tomorrow the plan at the moment is to spend most of the day on the ship obviously and then after dinner I will go off and just go to maybe a bar in Le Havre and see what it's like at night then get back on the ship and then the following day we're going to get the train to Rouen which is the city of Steeples, a medieval city very near Dubai. about a 50 minute train ride um, and then we'll spend about two hours, three hours there uh, exploring, having lunch and then heading back to the ship. So I hope you'll enjoy seeing us do that and uh, please do like and subscribe. So, we had a wonderful day in Cherbourg in France today. Uh, we're back on board now and uh, the others are having a nice well-deserved rest as I drag them around the city to uh, explore everything there is. And I'm sat now here in the glass house. So on Pinot Ventura, the glass house usually would serve food and drink, but at the moment they are drinks only. Um, and what I've done is I've ordered the wine flight of red wines. So that, uh, you get a small sample size of three different red wines and you can try them, see what you like, and it's a great opportunity to try new things. But also I find that the glass house, even for food, is just a case of coming in, having small amounts to sample things. They usually do tapas and things like that, so it's a great opportunity to do that. And I'll keep myself busy having a nice drink of wine. Uh, tonight is celebration night, so we'll all be dressing up later on, and you'll see more of that later.